The Chattanooga Mocs tied the program record for largest comeback on Wednesday, erasing a 19-point deficit to defeat Mercer. Forward Darius Banks was asked about the comeback post game and said, we don't want to be on the bad side of a 19-point deficit again. We'd rather be on the, uh, the other end. Well, today against Wofford, they were pretty much on the other end. Unfortunately for them, it didn't end well. Mox leading by as many as 14 in this one, taking a 13-point lead into halftime and doing their best to keep it early on in the second 20. David Jean Baptiste with the rock in some room. He'll take that all day. Straight cash, homie. Mox hanging on. You knew it was only a matter of time before Wofford. The kick to Max Klesmith. And the three start to fly. Then it's Storm Murphy. Somehow this dude's still in college. He ended the mock season last year in Asheville, and he was the thorn in their side again today. Wofford, lack of a better term, storms all the way back behind Murphy in a 10-0 second half run to take the lead. DJB trying to keep Chattanooga grounded. This one would tie things up, but the Terriers would quickly grab a four-point lead. And this monster three from Morgan Safford has Wofford all sorts of juiced up. And they were because they outscored the box 55 to 24 in the second half. An utter collapse from Chattanooga in the final 20s. They lose 77 to 59 to Wofford at the Roundhouse. They're now two and four in Southern Conference play. 55 in the second half. What are we doing? I mean, we're not serious about winning. So, not in that game. We're not. It's easy to be. You know, if things are going great, or I don't know if it's that, or maybe guys said, ah. Oh, I see what this Wofford team is. Coach, all the talk you talked about Wofford, they're not near as good as what you say they are. And then they came out and did Wofford stuff and kept fighting and calling. And was, one team was really aggressive and one team was passive and aggressive wins. I told you guys, there's being good at basketball and then there's being good at competing. Being good at competing is better. Indeed, the Mocs will head down I-59 on Wednesday to take on Samford, one of their two SoCon wins thus far. Tip is set for 8 o'clock in Birmingham. And the